I bet you guys want to see me do this naked right here. Hi, hey, 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 hey. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. As you might notice, I'm not in my university. I'm actually in my kitchen, and we are going to bake a nice plum cake today. It's plum season in Germany, and as a few of you might know, I'm a trained baker, so why not bake a little pie? And I'm not talking about half a pie because you know just half the circumference pie <laughs> we are going to bake a tau cake today it's a little why hard reference let's go ahead and get started so most of my recipes are quite improvised but um, we are going to uh, work with a senka 30 centimeter in diameter baking trail today um, and as you might notice maybe you can see it it's approximately 12 inches um, if i can read correctly and yeah all the ingredients are kind of for this 30 centimeter baking trail. So before getting really started, we need to um, start off with some um, pre-dough, you could say. So I would like to start off with um, using this measurement instrument right here to measure um, 260 degrees of wheat flour. So that's the first one. That was quite close. So that's all the wheat flour we need at the moment. And also we need a little bit of salt. Not too much, just a little bit. So here's also one of the most important ingredients. We need some fresh yeast right here. 20 grams approximately. Um, something like this. So let's just put it in here. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, there was exactly 20 grams. So that was quite nice. And we are also going to need 110 grams of milk. But my boy's attention. Not cold milk. It should be quite warm milk. Um, we are going to put all the stuff in the oven in a minute, but what we need to do at first, we need to swirl through here a little bit. So mix the yeast up with the milk and let's bring some of the wheat flour into this mixture right here so that it gets a little bit thick, just like my sweet little ass. Okay, okay, you see it's getting thicker and thicker. Okay, and when it's, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's also quite okay, so it's dripping down right here. So let's put a little bit more in there. Oh yeah, that looks spicy, that looks papa style. And now you are just going to cover all of that with the um, remaining wheat flour and then you are going to put it in the oven at like 30 degrees Celsius. Not 50, not 40, 30 degrees Celsius. So we want to do some um, Netflix and chill with this yeast mixture right here. We want the yeast to procreate. Mm. <laughs> So you see, I'm going to do just uh, like like 30 degrees, something like this here. I can't really see if it's 30 degrees. Never mind. And we are going to put this bad boy right here in for like I don't know 10 minutes. If you want, you can cover it with some um, I don't know with some tissue or something. And I see you in a second. So while waiting for our little yeast mixture to do some Netflix and chill, we are going to deal with the plums in the meantime. So. You should pay attention to your plums. So they shouldn't be too squishy, too mushy. We want them to be um, quite solid actually and they shouldn't be too sweet. So let's taste one. That one is just perfect. So, so they could even be kind of um, sour because if you might know, if you take sugar and put it into the oven for example, so if you let some heat play on the sugar it's going to um, yeah to go through some caramelization and that's not good because all of this stuff would get quite mushy and in the end quite solid and it wouldn't taste too good it would taste quite bitter so we want them to have less sugar in them that's why you should choose sour ones or more solid ones yeah. so you can choose your fighter now and don't forget to wash those bad boys right here in the end or at the beginning yeah you can choose your fighter now i'm going to use this knife if it doesn't work properly i'm going to use this one i like cooking at home so i have a lot of knives at home what you just want to do is to cut those in half just um if you can do so get the um, the kernel out <laughs> the seed yeah this didn't work out too good so um, I'm going to get rid of this, yeah, but try to get some uh, plum halves, yeah, and do this for quite some time. It's going to take quite a while, but it's going to be worth it. Plum pie is actually quite delicious. I like plum pie with a few crumbles on top of this pie. 
So as you might see, if we take a look at the flower on top, you can already see some um, damage in the flower, you could say. So that's already a good sign. So we are going to pull it out of the oven and then we are going to continue with the main dough. So now for the sweet part, we want to um, add 30 grams of sugar to this whole thing right here. Don't add too much or otherwise the dough is going to explode into infinity. The limit as the dough approaches infinity, so that's 30 grams. And we would also like to add 40 grams of butter to this thing. So let's see, this looks like 40 grams actually, so we have to get up to 70. Oh, damn, only like five grams less. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite nice. Okay, good. And the last ingredient is just a little egg right here. So playing some how to basic, no, I'm not going to throw it in there, but you can just take the whole egg, put it in here. And in the next step, we are going to show no kind of mercy to this dough. So now we have to stir up everything nicely. So like I said, don't show any mercy to the dough right here. We want to fucking kill it in the end. So look at that nice color, oh, that, that nice little yellow. And the dough has a nice consistency if it feels like your mom's pressed. So it's kind of a um, old pressed. That's why it needs to feel like your mom's pressed. But yeah, that's it and now you just wanna stir it up nicely. And like I said, don't show any mercy, just um, punch it and stuff like this. Because in here is a lot of cladden, it's, um, yeah, Whew. it's just wheat flour. So we need to stretch the dough to um, strengthen this cladden in here. I hope it's called cladden. If I get any terms wrong, I'm just going to add some uh, captions or something. <laughs> so here's how it, Baker would deal with stuff like this, with dough. So he's just using one hand and then he's making a nice ball of dough out of it. And he's going to punch it and stuff like this. Yeah, show no mercy, no mercy. That boy is looking good. So now that we've got a nice little ball out of this thing, you see it's still kind of, I don't know, um, yeah, not smooth on the surface. We want to put it in here again and then in the oven for about 10 minutes. Um, yeah. 30 degrees once again, just like before. We want to do some uh, Netflix and chill with the yeast right here with the dough. We want it to grow a bit more. And well, don't forget to cover the surface of this thing. We don't want to get the surface to dry out. So what we are also going to need are a few crumbles that we want to sprinkle on top. So let's move on with the crumble um, a mix right here. So what we really need are one part of sugar, one part of fat, butter in this case, and two parts of flour. What that means, so we are going to take 100 grams of sugar. So why the hell not? That's approximate, that's exactly 100 grams, that's nice. And we also need 100 grams of butter. And don't use butter that is um, too uh, smushy, too warm. We want to use butter that's right in the middle. So something uh, in the middle of cold and, and hot, you could say, room temperature. Yeah, okay, so that was exactly 100 grams. I'm quite good when it comes to measuring things. Um, I've done this for a lot of years. And now only uh, 200 grams of wheat flour. I didn't have enough in there, but I'm going to have more right here. So here's some little advertisement for the uh, German supermarkets. This is from Rewe. It's a product called Ja. English for yes. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Okay, those were 200 grams. And now we are going to stir everything up. Stirring this up is quite easy, actually. And you can also put some, um, I don't know, some vanilla flavor in there, if you prefer this. So I can do this in a minute. But um, be patient with this one right here. Um, it's not going to be too smooth. That's why uh, they are called crumbles. They are going to be a kind of crumbly in the end. So this right here is the good old vanilla flavor. Let's put some in here so that it tastes way better in the end. Who doesn't like vanilla flavor? My boys. So we are now done. You can make it um, into a ball or something, but you see it has this nice crumbly structure right here. And that's just uh, pretty perfect. And we are going to put it into the refrigerator for like, I don't know, 30 minutes or something. I bet you guys want to see me do this naked right here. 
I bet you wanna see me do the specking naked. Never mind. Doing this in the refrigerator so that it stays quite cold. So I've put this out of the oven and as you might notice it has grown to be a good boy. A big boy. And now we are going to um, stir it up once again. I'm going to get all the air out of this thing. And this is just making the dough stronger in the end. And then we are going to put it into the oven once again for like five minutes or something. Just to make sure that everything is going to grow nicely and that we have a lot of yeast in this dough. You see the dough is a lot more smooth now and see ya my boy. All that's really left to do for us at the moment is to take this baking tray right here and put some fat in it and also some uh, bread crumbles, some shredded bread, so that the dough doesn't stick to the sides and to the floor of this baking tray. So don't use too much fat. We don't want it to swim in fat. Just the right amount, just the right amount. Uh, this is the stuff I was talking about. In Germany it's called Panier oder Semmelmehl. Yeah, and you can put it in here just to make sure that um, yeah, nothing sticks to the side. That's good, that's how it should look. So here's the dough once again and now we need to roll it out to the size of the baking tray. I invite you to use some more flour for this job so it doesn't stick to the table. You're rolling it out on. So let's just do it here. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's nice, that's nice. And it should uh, be easy to um, stretch this dough right here. Shouldn't be too much of a hard feed. The dough is quite smooth. Yeah, that's already quite okay. And what you can do, you can treat it like a pizza and make sure that everything is uh, smooth, that you don't have any valleys or um, mountains in the dough right here. Yeah. And that should look about right. Yeah, awesome. So you can just compromise it a little bit more like this. And then you can grab it and put it in here. Just like this. And make sure to stretch the dough out quite nicely. That was perfect, my boys. That's way better than the fucking hair cake. <laughs> okay, and don't forget to push the sides down a little bit. So that's something that you should do. Yeah, put them down. If the dough is sticking to your hand, just use some flour or something. It's not in my case at the moment. Yeah, keep pushing it down, my boy. And you should get yourself a fork. And yeah, just try to kill the dough a little bit so that no bubbles are going to um, evolve in this dough right here. So just make some killing moves on the dough. So that looks about right and now in the oven once again for like five minutes. So this boy has grown once again and just like before make sure to um, use your fingers a little bit on the sides right here and try to get rid of all the valleys and mountains on the dough right here. Everything that's not smooth, try to uh, make use of your hands and try to feel the dough just like you would feel your girlfriend at home. And before we place those bad boys on the dough, make sure to get some more um, paneer meal right here, ch just a small bit. Um, there's a reason for it. Those boys right here are quite juicy, just like my memes. And if you just place them on here, through the heat, they would just lose all the water and that wouldn't be too nice. So, so you would have all the water on the dough and it would just um, stick through it. It just wouldn't be good. And now we can start placing all this uh, stuff on here. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I was pretty close. There was a close call. There were only just like two plumps missing. And don't forget to push everything in once again. So just press on the dough a little bit. And that should work out quite nicely. And don't forget your crumbles. So here are the crumbly boys once again. And now we wanna place them on the dough. And if you like, you can uh, just place a 
pi on here or something like that. I, I don't know if you can even, yeah, you can quite see it. Yeah, so those are the goddamn crumbles. That's supposed to be a pi, um, but I'm going to place everything um, on here so I don't want to miss out on any space because I just love those crumbles. Just enjoy this little um, crippling depression pie. <laughs> so we are done and now we are going to put it in the oven. Um, I don't really exactly know, just I don't know, maybe like 190 degrees for about 45 minutes and then you should check if everything's all right. Here's the good boy, here's the good boy. 190 degrees, let's put it on my lap. I go I know you guys like my lab. Oh, I, I don't want to drop it. And here we go. Let's put it in here. And if it starts to burn on the top, just use some uh, baking paper or something and place it on top. See you in a minute. For me, it's like one hour. Never mind. Oh, look at that little boy. That's looking good. So that's the finished cake. You can see um, our dough had a lot of energy. It pushed the um, cake up quite a bit. Oh, I like pie. Pie is super delicious. So you see boys, that's how it's supposed to look down there. So that's quite nice. Jawohl, Deutscher Kuchen. It's really fucking hot right now, so I can't really do a taste test or something, but I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. If you want to support me, uh, uh, Patreon! See ya guys! No, on a serious note though, oh, I do sound like the old lady. Um, if you enjoy oh, this kind of video, I can do some more if you want in the near future. Different kinds of videos. Love you guys, appreciate ya! See ya!